Hello and welcome back. In this session, we're going to talk about report subscription. Report subscription is a massively underrated feature of Salesforce and it allows us to have the ability to subscribe users to a report so that they will receive email updates automatically. When you subscribe to a report, you could configure the frequency, the time, the format, the recipients, who the report is run as, and you can even set the conditions that must be met in order for the report to be sent to the recipients. It's a great way to ensure that users remain up to date about key metrics. So let's head into Salesforce and take a closer look. So here we are in Salesforce and we're just going to head to reports. From here, we're just going to open up a sample report. So you may need to go to all reports here so you can see some, but we're just going to open up any report. It doesn't really matter. To subscribe to a report, we need to head to the drop down over here and then we need to hit subscribe. And from here, we can actually configure our subscription. So first of all, we could set the frequency. We could set how often the report should be sent and we have daily, weekly and monthly. If we select weekly, we can choose that the day that the report should be sent. So we could tell Salesforce to send this report on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday, or just a Wednesday or just a Friday. So we can configure this to quite a detailed setup. If we select monthly, we have a few more options to choose from. So first of all, we can choose between relative and specific. Relative allows us to be a little bit more dynamic. So we can send the report on the first, second, third, fourth, or last week of the month. And then we can specify the day as well. So from Sunday all the way through to Saturday, whenever we want to set it. Then we need to select the time. So this is asking us, when do we want this report to be sent? Do we want it to be sent first thing in the morning at 6 a.m.? Do we want it to be sent at lunchtime around 12? Or do we want it later on in the afternoon at 1500? Next, we can actually set the attachment as well. So this allows us to select the format that the report should be sent as. Do we want it formatted so it shows similar to how we see it in Salesforce? If we do, then it will be sent in an Excel format. So we're XSLX format, which you can see down here. Or do we just want the data? If we just want the details, so essentially a table of data, it will be sent in the .csv format and we can specify the encoding if we want to do so as well. For now, we'll just hit cancel and then we can set who we're going to send the email to. If we hit edit recipients, we can then specify who is going to get this report and we can choose between users, roles, roles as subordinates or public groups as well. So this gives us quite a variety of ways to select who should be receiving this report. We can then see who is subscribed to the report down here. And if we wanted, we could remove all recipients using this button here. So we'll just X out of that. And then we're going to take a look at the run report as. So this allows us to specify who we should run the report as. Do we want to run it as ourselves or run it as another person? Remember, this will impact the data that is visible and only users with the view all data permission are able to specify a running user other than themselves. Finally, we have conditions. Now, this is quite a clever way to how we can subscribe to reports. We can specify the conditions that must be met in order for the report to be emailed to the recipients. So if we only wanted the recipients to receive the report when a certain number of records were present, we could do that. Or if we wanted to set it based on the total amount, so if it was a certain value or higher, then we could do that as well. Another example would be that we had a report on all escalated cases. And once the total number of escalated cases reached 10, then the customer service managers would be emailed the report. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of use cases for report subscriptions. Let's wrap this up with a quick summary. Report subscriptions are a massively underrated of Salesforce reports. It allows users to subscribe to a report so that they receive email updates automatically. When you subscribe to a report, you could configure the frequency, the time, the format, the recipients, who the report is run as, and you can even set the conditions that must be met in order for the report to be sent to the recipients. A couple of examples of this would be a daily sales update. In this, sales managers could subscribe to daily sales reports to monitor the performance of their team, including closed deals and new opportunities. This would help them in keeping track of progress towards sales targets. 
We have renewal and upsell opportunities, so account managers could receive monthly reports identifying customers who are coming up for renewal or those with potential upsell opportunities, which would then help the company maximise revenue. And then we have the customer service metrics. Customer service managers could use subscriptions to get updates on case resolution times, customer satisfaction scores and other service related metrics. This information is vital for maintaining high levels of customer satisfaction.